Welcome to Auto Exclusive and another one of our exciting head-to-head -head videos. Today, we're pitting two of the most popular SUVs on the market against each other, the Hyundai Tucson and the Honda CR-V, to see which one is the best SUV for seniors. Which one will win? Let's find out. Let's get started by exploring the first thing that catches our eye, the exteriors of these two vehicles. We'll begin by taking a closer look at the Honda CR-V. The CR-V was fully redesigned for the 2023 model year and has inched more towards an aggressive, sporty look while still maintaining its somewhat refined stature. The Hyundai Tucson also features a fresh look, having been fully redesigned for the 2022 model year. Unlike the CR-V, the Tucson fully embraces the aggressive look to the point that Car & Driver magazine calls it daring and future forward. Car & Driver may be getting ahead of itself, but nevertheless, the Tucson is an attractive vehicle that certainly could appeal to many seniors. However, on balance, we think more seniors would be attracted to the looks of the CRV. So, winner. Honda CRV. For our next category, we're going to switch from the outside and take a peek at the inside of each vehicle. We'll start with a few things that each SUV has in common. First, both the CRV and Tucson feature attractive modern cabins that we think seniors will appreciate. Each one should be easy to get in and out of for most seniors. There's also plenty of passenger space and comfortable seats in both the front and back row of each vehicle. Now for the differences. Overall, we think the interior of the CRV is more attractive than the Tucson, except when it comes to the infotainment system display. In the Tucson, the display is nicely integrated into the dashboard while the display in the CRV is not integrated at all and simply sits awkwardly atop the dashboard. We also like that the CRV includes the convenience of push button start across all trim levels, unlike the Tucson, which only offers it on higher trim levels. However, the thing that may appeal to many seniors is that the CRV offers standard heated front seats across all models instead of just on higher trim levels as is found in the Tucson. So, even though it's not a blowout, we think between standard heated front seats, standard push-button start, and an overall more attractive cabin, the CRV clinches the deal. Winner, Honda CRV. Seniors use and enjoy infotainment systems just like anyone else, but they want them to be easy to see and easy to use. Fortunately, both the Tucson and CRV offer relatively easy to use infotainment systems, but there are some differences when it comes to their display sizes. The CRV offers a reasonably sized standard 7 inch display that jumps up to 9 inches on higher trim levels, while the Tucson comes standard with a slightly larger 8 inch display which bumps up to a generously sized 10.5 inch screen on higher end models. Both the Tucson and CRV offer standard wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto across all models, but only certain trim levels of each vehicle offer the convenience of wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. On the Tucson, oddly enough, lower-end models with the 8-inch screen offer wireless connectivity while higher-end models don't. As for the CRV, it's the reverse. Lower-end models only offer a wired connection, while higher-end models offer wireless connectivity. When you add it all up, everything related to connectivity washes out, and what is left is that the Tucson offers a larger screen on both lower-end and higher-end models. And therefore, winner, Hyundai Tucson. Much like anyone else, seniors utilize the cargo space in SUVs for all kinds of things, so this is an important category. We'll start with the available cargo space behind the front row. The CRV offers a total of 76.5 cubic feet behind the front seats, while the Tucson offers a tad bit more at 80.3, a difference of about 4 cubic feet or about 5%. Behind the rear seats, however, is the cargo configuration most widely used, and again, the Tucson comes out on top with 41.2 cubic feet versus 39.3 in the CRV. This is a much smaller difference of less than 2 cubic feet but again comes out to a difference of about 5%. With more space in both configurations, it's clear who the winner is. Winner, Hyundai Tucson. Our next category, powertrain, gets a little complicated, as vehicles today are available with various powertrains, including gas-only models, traditional hybrids, and plug-in hybrids. For the purposes of this video, we're going to focus on the two most common powertrains, gas-only and traditional hybrids. 
Let's start with the CRV. The gas-only CRV is powered by an inline four-cylinder engine that produces 190 horsepower and is paired with a CVT transmission. It comes standard as front-wheel drive, but all-wheel drive is available as an upgrade. The gas-only Tucson, much like the CRV, also offers an inline four-cylinder engine, but comes in with just a little less juice at 187 horsepower. Unlike the CRV, however, the Tucson comes with an eight-speed automatic transmission, which some people prefer over CVT transmissions. Moving over to the hybrid models, both vehicles offer more power as hybrids than they do as gas only. The CRV jumps up to 204 horsepower, while the Tucson jumps up even more, all the way up to 226 horsepower. And again, the CRV uses a CVT transmission in the hybrid, while the Tucson utilizes a six speed automatic transmission. Another difference between the CRV and Tucson hybrids is that the CRV comes standard as front wheel drive, while the Tucson includes all wheel drive instead of offering it as an upgrade. This category is not going to be a hard call. The Tucson offers basically the same horsepower in the gas only model and substantially more power in the hybrid. Plus, the Tucson comes standard with all wheel drive. No contest, winner, Hyundai Tucson. With gas prices as high as they are and many seniors living on a fixed income, fuel economy is more important than ever. We'll start again with the gas powered models. The gas powered Tucson offers 25 miles per gallon in the city. 32 on the highway and 28 overall, while the gas-powered CRV comes in stronger, with 28 miles per gallon in the city, 34 on the highway, and 30 overall. As for the traditional hybrid models, again the CRV outshines the Tucson with up to 43 miles per gallon in the city, 36 on the highway, and 40 overall, compared to the Tucson's 38 miles per gallon across the board. A couple miles per gallon doesn't sound like much, but it adds up especially for those seniors watching every dollar. In addition to better fuel economy, the CRV also offers one additional feature that seniors are sure to appreciate, and that's a capless fuel tank, which makes it easy for seniors with reduced hand strength to fuel their vehicle. The winner of this category is clear, Honda CRV. Seniors care about our next category, ride and comfort perhaps a little bit more than other categories because as you get older, comfort increasingly becomes important. So in this category, we look at a variety of things including driving position, visibility, road noise, and overall comfort. And in most respects, the Tucson and CRV are pretty comparable, each offering a good driving position for most drivers as well as good visibility. Although just like any vehicle, there are some angles that offer less than ideal visibility. Moving on to the seat comfort, there's not a big difference between the two as the seats are comfortable in both, and each SUV does a good job absorbing the dips and bumps along the road, resulting in a relatively smooth ride in either vehicle. We really have nothing to work with here, so we have no choice but to call this category a tie. One category that seniors care deeply about is safety and reliability, and fortunately both vehicles are solid when it comes to safety ratings, safety features, and reliability scores. Let's start with safety. Both vehicles received high ratings from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, with the Tucson receiving the highest designation of Top Safety Pick Plus, while the CRV received a designation one notch below of Top Safety Pick. As for safety and driver assist technologies, both vehicles are absolutely loaded with the latest technologies, all included as standard features, including forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, and lane keep assist amongst others. In fact, nearly every single safety and driver assist technology that is commonly available are standard features in both vehicles, with few, if any, offered as optional upgrades. Moving over to reliability, we always turn to consumer reports, which considers the CRV to offer better than average predicted reliability, while they believe the Tucson will offer owners average reliability. One more thing we should bring up that loosely relates to reliability is the manufacturer's warranty. Generally, we don't talk about warranties as most manufacturers essentially offer the same warranty. However, Hyundai offers a substantially better warranty than Honda, as the limited warranty on the Tucson covers you for 5 years or 60,000 miles versus only 3 years or 36,000 miles on the CRV. In addition, the powertrain is warranted for much longer 
and you get complimentary maintenance on the Tucson for three years or 36,000 miles versus only two years or 24,000 miles on the CRV. Balancing it all out, the Tucson has a slight edge in safety due to a higher safety designation, while the CRV comes out on top in reliability. In the end, we think these wash out, and that leaves the superior warranty as the deciding factor. Winner, Hyundai Tucson. We're down to our final category, which to many seniors is critically important, and that's price. In this category, there's a clear winner because each company approaches pricing radically different than the other. Let's start with Honda. Honda keeps the pricing of the CRV very simple as there are only four models to choose from. There are two gas-only models and two hybrids, with one being a well-equipped base model and the other being a fully loaded high-end version. Prices for the gas-only CRV base model start at $31,610, while the hybrid comes in at $32,950. As previously mentioned, the hybrid model does not include all-wheel drive as a standard feature and instead offers it as a $1,500 upgrade. Hyundai takes a different approach when it comes to pricing the Tucson. The Tucson starts with an aggressive starting price and then offers numerous trim levels and upgrades. This results in the base Tucson coming in over $5,000 less than the CRV at $26,450, while the hybrid Tucson starts over $2,000 less than the hybrid CRV and includes standard all wheel drive. In addition to the vehicle price, each company charges a $1,295 destination charge as well as other fees and taxes, with starting prices thousands of dollars less than the CRV. The Tucson easily takes this category. Winner, Hyundai Tucson. Okay, it's that time where we add up the wins and the losses and see which SUV comes out on top. So we had one tie in the ride and comfort category, while the CRV took the exterior, interior, and fuel economy categories. The Tucson, on the other hand, took infotainment, cargo space, powertrain, safety and reliability, and the price category for a total of five categories, and therefore, we have a winner, the Hyundai Tucson. Congratulations to Hyundai on the win. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.